Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, you're going to learn how to create light rays in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, from the new adjustment layer menu, choose gradient fill. Select angle from the style drop down and then click inside the gradient to open the gradient editor. Change the gradient type to noise and set the roughness to 100%. For color model, choose HSB and drag the saturation slider all the way to the left. Check add transparency and now you can click on randomize bunch of times until you find something that you like. Click OK to exit and now you can double click on the gradient thumbnail and drag the angle gradient to the center of the sun. Change the blend mode of this layer to screen. Activate the layer mask and click on the gradient tool in the toolbar. With radial gradient selected, choose black comma white from the gradient dropdown. Now draw a gradient line from the center of the sun to one of the corners. This will make the rays fade out as it moves away from the sun. Next, right click on this layer and convert to smart object so we can apply some filters. Click on filter in the top menu and choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. Pick a radius value of around 20 and then click OK. Turn off the visibility of this layer and use the foreground color picker to sample a color for the light rays. From the new adjustment layer menu, choose solid color. The sampled color from the previous step should automatically be selected. Turn on the visibility of the gradient fill layer. Hold the Alt or Option key and click right below the solid color fill layer to clip it to the layer below. Next, bring in a curves adjustment layer and bring the curves line up a bit in the highlights area and down a bit in the shadows area. This should increase the contrast of the image. To change the style of the light rays, double click on the smart object thumbnail to open it in a separate tab. Now you can double click on the gradient thumbnail and go inside the gradient editor. Keep clicking on randomize until you find something that you like. To save your changes, click on file in the top menu and then hit save. Your changes should now be reflected in the main tab. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.